so welcome to the another session on frontiers in cfd so today we are going to discuss the floating point exception error how this error can be avoided by different method that is changing the time step so today we are going to see the floating point exception error uh, when it occurs in cfd simulation what to be done so this will be the second part of the floating point exception error how this error can be avoided with the help of changing the time step so what we are going to do is we'll understand the process that has to be followed after you received an error which is called as the floating point exception error so what you have to do is you have to change the time step so that is the one process you have to do and you have to run a simulation at a lower time step so this detailed procedure has been discussed and how this to start the simulation again with a higher time step because we are taking smaller time step then it is likely to take consume more time so how the process step by step can be followed so we'll discuss with us this particular video so today we will see how to avoid the problem of floating point exception error uh, in the previous video we had seen how to avoid this by changing the mesh size now if sometime this is not possible so even if you are taken a proper mesh size and still this problem has occurred uh, you can again avoid this problem by doing another process which is called as the time step uh, selection so right now on the screen you are observing the number of time steps as equal to 100 uh, initial time step size is 0.0005 so in between that you will also need to check how much is the value of current number the value should be less than 1 uh, uh, when we are running the simulation when the simulation has stopped you can just check out uh, what was your current number in the earlier time step so if this value is uh, well below less than 1 so definitely you can uh, proceed with the same simulation instead of uh, running uh, the simulation from the zero so this is what the thing which can be done so first of all so what you have to do is when you are getting the error you have to change uh, you, the mesh uh, sorry you have to change the time step size now which time step uh, sorry which time step you have to change you have to change the number of time steps over here say for example uh, the right now we are running the iterations say the time step uh, which has been say 28297 is the current time step which has been run and you observe the error at say for example 29000 so in that situation what you have to do is first of all uh, click on okay for the error which we has come then you close the fluent window so go to the file and you will be having close fluent option you have to close it uh, remember thing uh, when such error occurs don't save the simulation okay so don't save the simulation next thing is go back to your wb window again you have to go to the file and close window again it will ask whether to save it we have to say no now what will happen as we are taken this 100 time step so if this process like right now we are running the simulation uh, if it is occurring without any kind of floating point exception error then in such situation you can save after that particular time step just now uh, like say here the time steps are on the verge of completion so we haven't as of now we haven't received any kind of floating point exception error so what i will do is once uh, this process calculation has been completed i will save this particular work okay here remember thing we haven't received any kind of floating point exception error so yeah you will see one message which is okay so first of all make it calculation complete so whatever the 28300 time step we have performed uh, during that uh, we say as of now we have not received 
the floating point exception error but it can come it may come after maybe 100 or it may come after 28,300 it may come uh, 28,400 or maybe 500 like that so what I will do is I will first save this one simulation here go to the workbench window save it so what will happen now to 28,300 is a time step up to this time step it has been saved now let us suppose if I run the simulation again and there occurs a problem of floating point exception error say around 28,350 time step so in that case what whatever the process I have suggested earlier so if you are receiving such uh, message of floating point exception error click on ok go to the file and close the fluent again go back to WB window go to the file and close the window so this is what the process we have to follow so in that case what will happen you will be back to the earlier time step that is 28,300 so you will be back to 28,300 time step how say once you have closed that again the open the workbench window again this open same simulation which you are running go to the setup file and click on edit so what you have to do is you have to go to setup uh, sorry solution and click on edit so in that case again this particular fluid window will be open now as you are aware that you have got the floating point exception error say around 28,350 so what you have to do is you have to just change the time step so likewise here we will check out the the current number so it is showing 0.73 so this is well below 1 so we can if that uh, we can say the floating point exception error occurs normally when this value becomes greater than 1 and that is the reason for the problem of a floating point exception error so what you have to do is whatever earlier time step you had take a, a smaller time step say if I take it 10, 2, 3 like that run it for some duration of time uh, till the time you are whatever the uh, the time step that which the error has occurred say for example uh, the error was occurred at 28,350 so uh, try to complete the the we can say the number of time step till 28,350 in terms of some small uh, time step like 10, 5, 2 like that so uh, once that has been done always check whether your value is sufficiently less than 1 whether your value of current number uh, this one is sufficiently less than 1 if that value is sufficiently less than 1 till that time try to run uh, with the smaller uh, time step like 10 to 5 10 like that or 20 so on so once that value and your uh, we can say time step reach the uh, values which is more than 28,350 in that case you will not again see the same uh, problem and again what you can do is then uh, once you are uh, we can say your value of current number is sufficiently less than 1 so in that case again you may take the value which you are taken earlier like 200 or uh, 300 or like so so this is how the problem of uh, the floating point exception error can be avoided when uh, it occurs during the simulation so we have received the the floating point exception error so now we'll see how uh, this error can be avoided and how we can still go on to proceed with the simulation as i said earlier when you get such error uh, you just have to click on ok button so the floating point exception error uh, you cannot check here uh, for this i will first make it ok and uh, it says calculation complete so you can see here message also coming the floating point exception error so just see it shows the global current number is greater than 250 so that is what the uh, things are coming out now I'll just check out with uh, at what time step this has occurred uh, actually I have run this simulation on 29,000 uh, time step uh, there was no such error but uh, just now this error has come out so 29011 so this is a carefully remember this is a time step at which the error has come 
so how to avoid this error and still we can proceed with the simulation that we are going to see so as i said so you don't have to save the work you simply go to the file and click on uh, close fluent option i will say don't save and exit so again 29011 so this is the uh, time step we are having i am don't save and changes and exit so this is what i am doing now next thing is uh, this fluent window will close now go back to your wb window workbench window and again click on exit so i will select here no so all the windows has been closed uh, as far as the ansys simulation has been concerned now one more time i will open this the simulation over here so this is again so click on this now whatever the earlier time step you have saved the work uh, from that we'll start again and as i see as we have seen it is happens at to the 29000 and 11 uh, time step so one more time we are opening this the same uh, workbench window we haven't saved the work remember so click on the simulate solution over here click on edit uh, one more time the same uh, the simulation will appear same set of file will open so it will take some time to load so we'll be again back to the same calculation once you are loaded now what i will do is earlier the error was occurred at 29011 time step i just selected one as a time step and will click on this and check what is happens so i make it one so i have made it one and it started the iteration process so we'll check out the time step at the end of this so it shows 29001 so easily the calculation has completed without showing any kind of error uh, one more time i will tell you how much is the time step right now it is 29001 the error occurred at just a minute unfortunately the window has been closed so again we have started this so one more time i will put it one and we'll just try to run the simulation earlier it was you are shown it is 29001 so it will go on to proceed with the same okay so 29001 is a time step which we have there so uh, i will just check out with the current number which i am having so the current number is 0.78855 uh, 46 last time the error has occurred at uh, 29011 time step so one more time i will just go on to make this uh, time step to say for example 2 and we'll run the simulation uh, just check it out uh, we haven't received any uh, error first time we have run it for one uh we say time step now we have run for two time step still we haven't uh, got any error we have reached around 29003 time step so likewise i am going to proceed uh, one more time i will save this work so that uh, even if again the floating point exception error occurs i can start from 29003 time step so that's a uh, it you need to uh, save the work so right now you see it is 29003 i have saved the work so that if again the floating point exception error occurs i will start from 29003 time step so one more time i will take it to make it okay and i will run the simulation okay so uh, it is almost completed
okay you can see again uh, this is what we are having so the same object we are having 29,005 just check it out the current number it should not be close to 1 it has gone to 1 so there is a chances that uh, again the things can come out so I will go back to 1 again and make it calculate we need this value to be less than 1 so as to avoid any kind of error that can come in the future time steps so 29,006 one more time I will save this work this is a somewhat time consuming process but uh, uh, instead of starting it from zero you can follow such process too so this is 29,006 one more time check the value of current number it is it has slightly reduced that is 0 0.94 so I will again go on to have with one and we'll run this simulation again I will try to do it for some uh, duration of time till the time I have a comparatively less value of the coron number available over here so it shows 0 0.87 you can see it has been reduced it was somewhere on 1.1 then it has reduced to somewhere on 0 0.87 one more time I will save this work and I will try to run this simulation again so this is time step the iterations are been done so one more time we'll check uh, who is how much is the current number which we have got it is 29,008 time step it was if you remember the error occurred at 29,011 now it has been reduced earlier it was 0.87 now it has been 0.84 so one more time I will click on calculate So we have done this practice for uh, I think seven to eight times uh, with very small time step. Uh, it is 29,009. Just check it out the current number 0.87 again. Uh, again it's slightly uh, increase. So one more time I will go with the same uh, thing. First of all save the work. okay so one more time we'll run this now it, I think we reach around 29,010 as a time step so last time the error occurred at 29,011 so check it out this one 29,010 and the value of current number is 0 0.85 it has slightly reduced so one more time click on the calculate So this iteration, this time step is also completed uh, without showing any kind of error. So we have reached uh, to 29,011. So uh, if you see in the first uh, instance, it was the error has occurred at this 29,011 time step. Okay, so just check it out again, 0 0.97. So still again, uh, we need to go with the same one. Till the time we are not... Uh, this value is somewhat less we'll try to go with the same number of time step this is 29,012 now uh, 0.92 slightly reduce so take it one more time Twenty-nine thousand thirteen. So we have reached higher value. Just check it out. Point eight eight seven. So now I'll just change this value to say, for example, two, and let's try to run this simulation, uh, run this iteration process again. Now it has uh, been for two. Uh, the iteration process is going on. The time step, first time step has been completed. Second is also been completed. So 29,015 as a time step we have reached 29,015 this is the current number 0.85 so I will just save this work again 
Now I'll just go with uh, somewhat higher value of time step. Uh, earlier I have gone with uh, say 2. I may go with say for example 5 and just check it out whether the error comes out or not. If still error has come, uh, you have to go with again smaller time step. Like 1 which we have taken, 2 we have taken. If some error uh, still is coming, uh, again you have to go with some smaller time step the way it has been uh, done uh, um, throughout the process. So right now we have 5, uh, there is no error. That is a floating point exception error. So we have reached around uh, 29,020. Remember the error occurred at 29,011. This is 0.71 as the value of your current number. So this value uh, is quite uh, lower than 1. Uh, it's a time that I can uh, go with some higher value of time step also. So better way is to go with save the work so that even if the error occurs, you can again do uh, some changes Okay, so now I will proceed with the 20 time step. So let's make it okay and just check it out whether the error occurs or not. So 15 time steps, uh, 16 time steps are remaining. Fourteen. So we are quite ahead of uh, where the error has occurred. So you might have understood how the process is there. Uh, so there is one process which we have discussed in the previous uh, video. It was related to changing the mesh size to avoid the problem of core and number. Change the mesh size according to uh, the time step you have selected. This is one process by which we can avoid the floating point exception error. The second method which we are following is uh, here is uh, we are changing the number of time step. So the error which was occurred at 29,011 time step now we have uh, taken the smaller time step like one two uh, number of times and then check out the value of current number it was less than one and uh, we have crossed that value also like to 29,011 then we have changed the different mesh different time step that is we are tried with two we are tried with one we are tried with five and as well as we are tried with 20. so we have around uh, now it is five uh, time steps are being left from the 20. i think uh, it is 29,000 uh, you can see on the screen 29,037 is the time step which has been there uh, so it will uh, close at 29,040 so easily we can avoid such errors and we can uh, continue with the simulation uh, over here one more time we'll just go on to check out with uh, what is the value of current number we are having right now if you are observing this value to be uh, nearer to 1 you may have proceed with uh, taking a smaller uh, time step so this is at 29,040 we don't have got we haven't got any kind of floating point exception error so just check it out the current number so it is quite less that is 0.68 so this is how the process can be done one more time I will uh, run the simulation for 20 time step and check it out whether the error occurs or not so make it okay <coughs> Uh, I guess we'll uh, end at 29,060 time step. 
16 times the absorbed wind remaining. So uh, the, it is not uh, necessary to start it directly from uh, zero again, uh, because these errors which we have got, it can be avoided the way it has been tried in this particular, uh, we can say, process which has been uh, shown to you. So whatever, lots of time has actually been saved in this task because uh, initializing it again or changing the mesh size uh, becomes the whole process we have to start it again. So a considerable time can be uh, saved when uh, we are getting such kind of errors which are related to the floating point exception. So I hope uh, this has been understood. You can follow the same process. And later on, I will just sh show you with some, uh, you can go with some higher value of time step also like 50 or 100 and uh, just check it out whether it uh, goes correctly or not without giving any kind of error. So we have almost reached uh, around 29,053. So it was error occurred at 29,011. So we are uh, well ahead of uh, by 50 time step where the error has been occurred. So this is how the process is. You can uh, run follow such process and avoid the problems which can take place while running your simulation. You have run it twice at 20. <coughs> Only one is left. <coughs> okay, so let's save this work. Okay, twenty nine thousand sixty. So how this is how the process has to be followed. Thank you.